What's up everyone? The much anticipated new animated movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is right around the corner. And with it being loosely based on Marvel's Spider-Verse story from the comics, it's going to feature several different Spider-Man characters from alternate realities. For instance, we already know for sure the movie will feature Miles Morales' Spider-Man as the lead character and Peter Parker as a supporting character. But we're also going to see Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Gwen slash Ghost Spider, Penny Parker and or SPDR, and a few more. So over the next few weeks, we're going to be taking a closer look at several of them, starting with the character we're talking about today, Spider-Ham. This awesome spider pig is a super fun, nonsensical character. The best way to summarize him is if Spider-Man was a Looney Tunes character. This is what you would get and it's hilarious. Spider-Ham first appeared in Marvel Tales starring Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, Issue 1. He was created by Tom DeFalco and Mark Armstrong. As for his origin, it was given to us in Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, Issue 15. He was originally created as a joke slash parody character, so be warned, his origin is ridiculous and weird, but all the more fun because of it. One day in the basement of an ordinary house in the suburbs of New York City, our cartoon-looking spider was looking at a not-so-ordinary sight. He was staring at May Porker, an unknown super genius who created the world's first atomic powered hair dryer. Oh trust me, the weird is just getting started friends. Anyway, she thinks the new atomic hair dryer is going to revolutionize the hair care industry. And before turning it on and testing it, she wets her hair while looking at Peter saying, my little arachnid friend, you are about to witness the combination of my lifelong struggle. No longer shall I toil in virtual obscurity. So she turns it on and it zapped her with radioactive energy. So she walks over all Frankenstein style and bites her spider friend on the head. She then collapses and Peter starts growing and changing into something else. He turns into an anthropomorphic pig due to the radioactive bite from May Porker. See, I told you it gets weirder. Anyway, feeling weird, he goes out into the city and basically does all the stuff the main Peter Parker did after he got bit by a spider and realized even though he was a pig now, he kept the proportional strength of a spider as well as most of the abilities a spider would have. After testing out his powers in the city, he's like, crap, I forgot all about Miss Porker. She's still unconscious and may need medical attention. So he goes back to her in the basement and says, wake up, Mrs. Porker. She's all like, where am I? And then started saying, why, Peter, it's you, my sweet and darling nephew. I must have slipped and fallen down the basement stairs while doing housework. And you came down to revive me, you considerate dear thing you. She continues to say, come sit in the kitchen with your Aunt May while I make you some of your favorite cookies. To which Peter says, uh, well, whatever you say, Aunt May. Yeah, so she now thinks the one spider in her basement is now her pig nephew. It's actually pretty hilarious. Peter questions whether he should tell her the truth or not, but eventually is like, nah, I think the shock would kill her. So over the next few days, Peter decided that fate disguised itself as an old lady biting him on the head, giving him amazing superpowers. So he shall use them to fight evil everywhere. And he makes himself some web shooters and a spider costume and says, look out world, here comes Spider-Ham. And that is Spider-Ham's origin. It's super weird, cartoonish, and lighthearted, but all the more awesome because of that. It wasn't meant to be taken seriously, like at all. It's just pure fun. With that said, Spider-Ham got his own solo series titled Peter Porker, The Spectacular Spider-Ham, which lasted for 17 issues. The craziest thing about Spider-Ham is that he's not the only anthropomorphic animal based on a Marvel hero or Marvel villain from the 616 universe. You have Goose Rider, Captain America, Iron Mouse, Doctor Doom, Pork Grind, Doctor Octopussy Cat, which is a very unfortunate name, and the list goes on. As for Spider-Ham himself, more recently he's appeared in the Spider-Verse storyline, where an army of Spider-Men from across the multiverse teamed up to defeat Morlin and the Inheritors. Unfortunately, a bunch of Spider-Men died during the battle, but Spider-Ham was one of the few survivors and eventually returned back to his own dimension. But due to fans' positive reaction in the Spider-Verse story, Spider-Ham showed back up soon after to join the Web Warriors. The Web Warriors are a group of interdimensional heroes who all have a connection to Spider-Man in one way or another. They formed after the events of Spider-Verse from the remaining members of the Spider Army that had fought Morlin and his family. But that, my friends, brings me to powers and abilities. Spider-Ham has all the same powers Peter Parker Spider-Man has. So he can stick to walls, has a spider sense, has wrist-mounted web shooters, he can even lift around 10 tons. Yeah, this pig spider can lift 20,000 pounds. One power he possesses, however, that Peter Parker doesn't, is like all anthrotunes, as they're called, he can survive massive trauma. I'm talking about this dude can be pressed flat by a steamroller and have nothing more than minor pain. Because remember, he's loosely based on the Looney Tunes, and as such, he's near invulnerable. Oddly enough, that actually makes him one of the most formidable spider characters in all of Marvel. Also, this is completely random, but according to Marvel, he's 5 feet 2 inches tall which is way bigger than I would have guessed. I thought he would have been closer to the three foot range. 
Anyway, with all of that said, let me leave you guys with some Spider-Ham reading recommendations. Check out Marvel Tales starring Peter Porker the Spectacular Spider-Ham issue 1, Peter Porker the Spectacular Spider-Ham 17 issue series, the Spider-Verse story arc, and the Protectors of the Spider-Verse Web Warriors title. That should be enough to get you all started. But all right, my friends, that's going to bring another episode of Variant to a close. But remember to check out our website, VariantComics.com, as well as our social media. Links for that is in the description. But I'll see your lovely faces next time when I talk about all things comics. 